Well, Merry Christmas, everybody. Welcome to World Class Wednesdays. Today, you're going to need some world class focus to be able to hear my message over this world class ugly Christmas sweater. But do pay attention very closely because today's lesson is going to be a great one. Ayn Rand said that wealth is the product of a man's capacity to think. And so the focus of today's lesson is to get you on the path to world-class thinking. Now, if you got out of bed this morning because you wanted to, then you are in control of money. However, if you got out of bed this morning because you had to, then money is in control of you. Now, even in the wealthiest nation in the world, 99% of the population is being controlled by money. The effect is lack of money, but the cause is thinking. Albert Einstein once said that a problem cannot be solved at the same level of consciousness in which it was created. So in order to raise your consciousness, you have to study how the world class creates wealth. Now, I don't know about you, but I came from a middle class background and my parents were really hounding me to get my diploma and then get a college degree. Uh, their belief was that <clears throat> education in the education system uh, was going to allow me to become wealthy. But very few academics are able to create wealth. The academics seek degrees and certifications, and then they're confounded when these things don't bring them riches. While the great ones are strong advocates of higher education, they don't believe it has much to do with acquiring money. The middle class trades time for money. The world class trades ideas that solve problems for money. The poverty class talks about things that happened in the past. The middle class talks about other people, like keeping up with the Joneses. But the world class talks about ideas. About 150 years ago, Karl Marx was sure that the working class as a whole would rise up and overcome oppression if given the chance. What Marx didn't factor into the equation was the poverty-driven thought process of the people. If you give people who are operating at a middle class level of consciousness a million dollar opportunity, they'll find a way to make it back into the middle class. And this is evident with the number of people who end up bankrupt just a few years after winning a lottery. Now this all stems from someone's limited image of where they belong. Nothing to do with reality. It's all about the perception of where they belong. Okay, so your action step for this week is to ask yourself what level of monetary success do you feel most comfortable? Poverty class, middle class, or the world class? And wherever you feel you're most comfortable will reflect your self-image and most likely your current status. If you want to become wealthier, begin by raising your self-image and upgrading the self-talk you use regarding money and finances. If all you do is chase more money, you're simply attacking the effect. The cause is how you think. And if you improve the cause, the effect will take care of itself. Our recommended reading for this week is a book called You Were Born Rich by Bob Proctor. You may recognize his name from the movie The Secret. Take care, everybody. Have a fantastic Christmas celebration, and we'll see you next week.